Hi, I'm Shalair with Mediander's Comedy Spotlight, where I will highlight the funniest people who should have TV shows, in my opinion. And you ask, who are you? Well, I'll tell you. I am And that's why I should highlight the funniest people who should have shows. Hi, I'm Shalira and welcome back to Comedy Spotlight. My guest this week is Pat Brown. Oh my God. Hey, comedian Pat Brown. I'm here. <laughs> I am here. That she is, is here. Me. Let me tell you, I am a fangirl of yours. Uh, okay. I don't know what, uh, you, th my definition of fangirl is that I saw you years ago in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and you were so funny, and I remembered you because then I saw you later at a Wendy Williams show and was like, I know her, I, I remember her material, and that's how funny you were to me. So you're telling the world that I'm doing the same material that I <laughs> did years ago? Is that what you want to put on television? You were funny. Once You said a joke one time, my friends and I were cracking up, you were talking about moving to New York uh -huh. and how you don't get that um, the guys here wear Timberlands in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, they have on their summer Timberlands. <laughs> New York, New Yorkers wear boots all year round. That's why you're so mad all the time, because your feet are hot. <laughs> but okay, so you were in Atlanta for so long. What made you say, that's it, I'm going to New York? Well, New, New York, I think, is one of those places, uh, for those people that don't live here, you see it in movies all the time. It's such an uh, iconic uh, city and feel that I've always wanted to live here. And I was saying to myself, even before I even decided to uh, be a comedian, or maybe they overlapped, and that I wanted to live in New York at least one year. It's just okay. something about it. It's almost like a rite of passage to live in New York. Then you say you did it, right. you know? Uh, so it was one of those type of things. So you stay it's, in? It's like having sex with Kim Kardashian. It's just like, so you can just say you did it. Um, All right. <laughs> I'm sure it's much more enjoyable than that. Uh, Kim, I'm sorry. Uh, who I really appreciate as an artist, or a person. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, not an artist. Maybe a media mogul. Maybe. So I'm a fan of yours. I love comedy. And I'm a fan of yours <laughs> at this very moment. You're but, my favorite interviewee. Okay, well, thank you. But I want to know, who do you fan out over? Like, what kind of comedian? Uh, I, tell you, I tell you, I went straight groupie. I went straight groupie uh, in New, uh, when I was in Atlanta. Uh, Chris Rock was filming... Uh, filming um, to kill the messenger oh, okay. and he was doing like i was telling you before comics need the reps and it's uh uh the equivalent is a basketball player going to the gym so he was doing his gym work in atlanta at uptown comedy club a club that i was hosting and at the end of the uh four shows or whatever he was doing he uh he he wanted to meet the comics in in uh, Atlanta. I don't think he wanted to meet us. He was just nice enough, because we wanted to meet him. So I think he was nice enough to let us meet him. Uh, so it was this line, and he spoke to everybody. And when I got to him, I was going to say something prophetic. And I just could not put two words together to speak to that man. And uh -oh. uh, I just groupied out, because he I am such a fan of his, uh, just how he puts his shows together. I mean, he, uh, he does, I mean, he doesn't have the greatest voice, but he's, he's learned how to uh, use a mechanism to get people's attention. He's not yeah. the most animated guy, but he use, uses uh, a mechanism to get, keep your eye and focus on it. His writing is just pure oh, gold. So, good. so everything about him, he made himself into the best comic he could possibly be. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, um, so I grouped it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If he would have asked me to get naked, I, I would have gotten naked. Uh, for Chris him. Rock? Yeah, well, I know. What are you working on now? I'm working on a, uh, a DVD, a uh, live DVD taping. Uh, Can I plug my yeah. web? Yeah. My uh, internet, I mean my internet. <laughs> That's what old people say, the internet. Al Gore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I created it. Uh, but my website is uh, comedianpatbrown.com. Comedianpatbrown.com. So subscribe and I will send you out notices of when my DVD taping is coming out. And Chris Rock, you can come out. Come on out. Yeah. Support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only 50% off for you. So do you That's have a, a comedy crush? Um, Not somebody that you fan out over, but somebody that's like... Oh, that's know, sexy on stage yeah. to me that I would do? Yeah. 
Uh, have you seen comics? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they go to the 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 uh, the metaphoric gym, which is other clubs to work out, but they don't go to the gym gym. Oh my God, they're horrible. Uh, but uh, radio faces. Oh oh yeah, I do have a. Oh okay. I, I do have a. Uh -oh. Yeah yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't say. <laughs> I cannot say, and I will not say. Um, oh, damn. Damn, Gina, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, we yeah, got we yeah. to get it off uh, yeah. offline. <laughs> she, now she over here fantasizing yeah. about, like, damn, you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, also, too, is I'm at this um, the place in my life where I've, I've always, not always, but I've, I've been dating really young, and I'm trying to date people my age now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you are uh, taking uh, a multivitamin, I can't, I can't do, I can't do the little, uh, the the chewables anymore. I'm not, I'm dating a woman or a man that has like the the silver, uh, <laughs> the silver multivitamins or uh, the blue caps. Yeah, those. Yeah, that shows. Yeah, substantial. I'm going for that. Not the chewables. No, I oh can't do that God. no more. <laughs> Hit her up. Yeah, if your vitamins taste like cereal, uh, <laughs> uh, Frankenberry or anything like that, I can't do you. I can't All mess right. around with you. She's open. Yeah. All right. No, I'm not open. I'm closing. <laughs> closing. I'm narrowing it down. I need some, I need some maturity in my life. All right. Um, well, thank you so much thank you for, for having stopping me. by. Right. Tell the people one more time where to catch you. You can catch me at New York Comedy Club for my live DVD taping, and you can also subscribe to my website at www.comedianpatbrown.com. Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much for thank coming you, by. Thank you, beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Have a good one.